Hi, Jeremy Morgan here. You might be thinking another video about chat GPT, really? There's been no shortage of press dedicated to this tool, but let's get specific. Let's talk about how you can use it as a software developer. Let's jump right in. Now, ChatGPT is awesome. It's fun to play with and really addictive. You can use it for all kinds of silly stuff, like writing a speech about C Sharp in the voice of Abraham Lincoln. But here's how you can use it to make you a better developer. Prompt number one, what's a better way to do this? Now, after a few years, you're dusting off your C-sharp skills and writing an application. You create a vehicle class with a few properties. Now, is this valid code? Sure. It uses getters and setters, and you can implement data protection on your properties, and it'll compile and run just fine. However, this isn't how we implement properties in C-sharp anymore. But you have no way of knowing that, especially if you haven't written C-sharp since version 3.0. So, out of curiosity, let's see what ChatGPT has to say. We'll copy our class and go to ChatGPT and say, what's a better way to write this code? And dump it in the prompt. Wow, look at that. Not only does it tell you about auto-implemented properties, but it tells you why you should use this suggestion. Now you know that you can perform the same thing that 41 lines of code used to do in just six lines of code. And it tells you why that's important. So you just learned something. Prompt number two, how do I do something? This is yet another way to use chat GPT. However, there is a caveat attached and we'll talk about it. You can always ask it how to do something. For example, how do I connect to PostgreSQL with PHP? We type that in and receive our answer. You can have it generate a variety of great boilerplate code for various tasks. For instance, you can say, how do I make an HTTP web request with vanilla JavaScript? Not only will it write the code for you, but it'll explain the reasoning behind it. Now this can be incredible if it's a concept you're unfamiliar with. ChatGPT can generate things like this much faster than a Google query. But what's the caveat I mentioned earlier? You must understand the code that you're generating. Now I can't stress this enough. Don't blindly say, how do I do this? And then dump the code into your application. Generate the code, study it, and understand it. You can also use ChatGPT for this, as we'll see in the next prompt. Prompt number three, how does this work in the code you just generated? Now you can dig deeper into what ChatGPT generates with this prompt. So you can type in something like this. How does this work? ChatGPT keeps a conversational context by bundling your queries in a single conversation. That means you can keep iterating on the results, just like in a real conversation with a human. Prompt number four, rewrite this code with syntactic sugar. Now this is another one of my favorites. If you don't know, syntactic sugar is programming language syntax that is concise and sometimes easier to read and express. Now, it's not for everyone, but I like it, and especially like it when it declutters my code. Take this example in C-sharp. Now, in this code, we're looking for values that may be null, and if they are, we'll assign them a value of zero. If they have a value stored, we'll just pass that value. Pretty straightforward, right? But if you look at this code, you can kind of get the feeling that there's a shorter way to do it. So we'll ask ChatGPT. Rewrite this code with syntactic sugar using C-sharp. And we get this code, which is much better. This is yet another way that ChatGPT can teach you and help you become a better programmer. Now, keep in mind this isn't bulletproof. I have seen code generated using this that didn't work as expected, but it's pretty cool when it does. Now, ChatGPT is cool and it's a lot of fun to play with. However, it can also be a useful tool to improve your productivity. It can teach you new ways to write code. We didn't cover some of the other ways it helps, such as generating documentation, providing answers to support questions, and more. I'll do a follow-up video to this, so keep checking back. Now, it might sound like a dumb fad, but it isn't. From here forward, developers need to learn this tool. Now, this is a significant turning point for software development, and it's only going to improve more. If you like stuff like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I also do live coding on Twitch every week. So, thanks for watching.